My trip was coming to an end. How could it have gone so quickly? But there were still a couple of things I had to do before heading back. One of those things was to find one of my abuela's childhood best friends that she hadn't seen in ages. I headed out to the plaza to find her. I was told that she no longer has a home or a family and is living in a convalescent home. And she sits in the plaza alone most of the day. I felt the need to find her and give her abuela's greetings. I had been looking for her every time I had the chance to walk to the plaza, but with no luck. If I didn't find her today, I don't think I would have another chance to see her on this trip. And like it was destined to happen, I saw her from a distance. I was nervous to approach her at first. I knew that it would be an emotional moment for me. I had also grown up seeing her every time I would visit Purépero. She had her own hot dog cart and sold them daily. She was always so kind to me offering me her hot dogs every single time. And this time, she couldn't. When she first saw me, she confused me with one of my aunts until I clarified who I was. We talked and hung out at the street corner where I found her. I gave her abuela saludos and she sent one back. <laughs> <laughs> Times definitely change. We just never know what life brings to us as it passes. One moment we are enjoying life and the next we could be fighting for it. Staying humble is key. The words of Maya Angelou come to mind. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. We said our goodbyes and I walked away with a knot in my throat. Seeing her gave me so much to think about. We dismiss people without hesitation, just based on what we see, not knowing what has really happened in their lives or still is happening. It's like we become numb to the hurting, so long as we're okay. I just thank the Lord for allowing me to experience this with my kids. We made our way back to the house it was Roby's birthday, and the tradition is that if it's your birthday, your friends or family can shower you with buckets of water, soda, or any kind of liquid. So we planned out to make sure we got him. It was so much fun. I remember doing the same thing to my Aunt Lupe in one of my previous trips. We acted like we were thirsty, stopped at the market, bought a bunch of sodas, shook them up, and showered her when she least expected it. On my last day, I woke up early to walk La Plaza and just enjoy everything it had to offer as the town started its day. The crisp, clear morning walks to the open market always paved the way for my senses to be woken with the vast colors, smells, and sounds. The licuados and gelatinas con rompope stand is still there. I remember my mom would take me to La Plaza on our morning walks to buy them. She always knew what she wanted, and we would always walk out with something in hand. I think she just wanted me to get some nutrients somehow because I was such a picky eater. I always ended up with carrot juice in a plastic bag with a straw. As I see the food around me, I can't help but to think about how much goes behind a great meal. There's the giver, the one who makes the meal, and then there's a recipient the one who eats the meal. And it starts with the mental organization of the meal with the recipient in mind. Once that's well thought out, we head to the market for the items needed. And once you're there, there's no assurance that what you set yourself out to cook will be what you end up making. Going to the open market is such a treat, especially to one like this. Fresh produce and meats everywhere ready to be turned into a delectable, savory, traditional dish for the hard-working families of Purépero. Cooking not only involves your taste buds, but as you see all the colors at each fruit, and vegetable, and meat, you become so inspired that you begin to conjure up your own exquisite mix and blends of flavors. 
you can't help but to feel inspired to create something that is unique because soon enough it will be fed to someone who is special to you. Walking the open market brought so much joy and memories. I was like a kid in a candy store. The memories of every trip I had taken before flashed before me. It was as if everyone had a role to make sure that this one experience I was living would have a lasting impression for something I know nothing of. I hope to someday find out what that is. I inhaled every stride I took through the plaza as if I needed to embed it in my soul. There was one more thing I needed to do before I left Purépero and I was gonna make sure I got to it before leaving the next morning. <laughs>